today, I want to steal one from Robert Fulgham. For those of you who aren't familiar, Robert Fulgham wrote a great little book called Everything I Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. If you haven't read it yet, you're missing out. You really ought to pick up on it. But I'm going to steal one from uh, the Pastor Fulgham's page, and I'm going to tell you that everything I really needed to know, I learned in the Little League. All apologies, Robert Fulgham. The first big lesson of Little League was swing. Swing for the fences. Giving your best effort really does matter. My batting average was terrible. I was a decent fielder, but my batting average was terrible. I think at one point it was 113, and some of those were luck. My coach and my fellow players, especially my fellow players, they never judged me for striking out. And, and these were kids of an age who were very judgmental, kids who can be very harsh. You never got judged harshly for striking out as long as you were swinging. If you just watched pitches go by, everybody started to holler. Swing. Swing all day long. It makes a difference. Put yourself out there. Number two, shake hands. We were forced to do it at first, and then it became a ritual. It became part of the game itself. It's not a game without an opponent. You can't play unless someone's playing against you. You better appreciate the people who are playing against you. They made everything you do possible. Win, lose, or draw, go out and shake hands with the other side. Competition without respect is no longer competition. Something kind of ugly that I don't want to participate in. Number three, we all get to play. It was one of the great parts of Little League. There's an inherent nobility in letting everyone have their part in the game, even if it's a small part. Shared human experience is usually more important than the outcome. The big leagues, in the big leagues only, they differentiate by talent. Very few things you're doing in life will be big league. Let everyone play. Number four, stop the ball. Your glove and the ball should get together, but you have to use your whole body. Down on one knee, block it. This is it. Stop the ball. Someone needs to improve the situation, and sometimes it's up to you. Minor sacrifices may be necessary. Use your body, I was told. We were just kids, but use your body. Get out there. Make the sacrifice. Do what's necessary. Stop the ball. Practice. Practice is just as important as the game. Practice may have in this situation even been more important than the game because practice is how we learn the ways we actually learn. I think I got more out of practice than any game. And the last one, the most important one, is slushies rock. Three hours of sweaty effort is a fair trade for a flavored ice drink. Now, what we're actually saying here is that the effort is the reward. Flavored ice rocks, but it's really all about what you did. I think that part afterwards, that's just a little celebration that you made it through. Again, apologies to Robert Falcom.